Hello everybody. Thank you for you know being here to listen to my story. My name is Erica Hinton and the name of my story is 13 Roses. Can I see a show of hands of those who've ever been like in a romantic relationship? Boyfriend, girlfriend, okay. Now, have you ever been cheated on in a romantic? Okay, yes, okay. Now let me see a show of hands of those who are actually the cheater. Uh, oh, oh, we got one, we got one, but two being honest, okay. <laughs> well, let me give you a little background about myself. Anyone that knows me knows that I love roses, the smell of roses. So, um, I love to have a fresh bouquet every few days, you know, when they die, you like to replace them. So, anywho, um, I was dating this young, this guy, he was about two years younger than me. Awesome, you know, in the beginning of a relationship, it's fresh, it's fun, you know, and he started to notice that I loved roses. So he would bring me a bouquet, you know, just just because it wasn't for any particular reason, but just because he would bring them to my job, he would bring them to my to where I was living. Fast forward two years, we're dating, we're very serious. We started talking about marriage. So back then, back back way back then, because I'm I guess the grandma in the room, this <laughs> person with everyone. Um, so anyway, fast forward, we decided to move in together. And so, you know, around the two year part, I started noticing that he started pulling away from me. He wasn't as affectionate. He would disappear. I would be wondering, where are you going? Where are you at? And so I'm like, okay, something's going on. You know, a woman's intuition, we start to feel something and we're like, ooh, I'm gonna find it. And I'm like naturally like an investigator. And so like when something goes on, I'm looking and I'm trying to find something. Like I swear I'm an investigator, right? So then one day I'm sitting at work and here, here he comes with a single long stem rose. And I'm like, okay, that's different. I'm used to having a bouquet, but you know, I'm not, you know, a person that's always, you know, expecting something. So I was grateful for the long one rose. And so he left. And so then later on that night, he didn't come home. And I'm like, okay, wait, wait a minute. What's really going on? So then I get home, it's like 12 o'clock. I'm like, where is he? So I start looking, remember we live together. So I start looking around, of course, because I'm an investigator, right? So I'm searching through things, I'm digging through piles. And he wasn't very smart when it came to trying to hide things. I found like email passwords before and all these things. So I'm like, he left a clue somewhere, where is it? So here I am looking and I'm searching and I'm trying to find it and here comes his pants that he had on. And so I pull out, I pull out the things that were in the in the pockets, and there goes a receipt for 13 long stem roses. So I'm like, okay, I got one. <laughs> well the other, the other, the, you know, where's the dozen? And so he's like, oh well, um, my friend, you know, the one that I told you about a few years ago that she she died in a tragic accident, I put him on her grave. And I'm like, really? You're gonna put a dozen long stem roses on a grave, really? Little do he remember that I remember the gravesite where he took where the, he said the girl was buried. So of course, right? I'm an investigator, y'all remember this. So here I am, I drive over to the graveyard, okay? And here I am, I have my phone now because I already know I'm not about to see no uh, dozen roses on the gravesite. There's not even an urn, what is it, to put like a vase on there to even put roses in. So I remember just taking the picture like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, whatever, <laughs> you know. So then, when he finally comes home, I'm like, where the roses? When I told you, I put them on her graveyard. I put them on her graveyard. So I said, you want to see something interesting? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I show him the picture of me, and you see my shadow, you know, the cast of my shadow with the flower. And he was like, all uh, discombobulated. So anyway, that story happened like 15 years ago. And every time I see the number 13, it always flashes back 13 roses, 13 roses. But anyways, that's the end of my story. Thank you guys. <laughs>